Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs here, and I'm here to talk about Dixie Belle glazes. Now, I have several that I'm going to be showing you today. Today, I'm showing you the whitewash glaze, the pearlescent glaze, the black glaze, and the Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to show you a couple ways to use them. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's a great product, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, I went ahead and painted this board in sandbar, two coats of sandbar, and then I did do one coat of Dixie Belle in satin. Now, to, before you put the glaze on, it's nice to have a coat of satin, flat, any one of the Dixie Belle top coats, so that when you're putting on your glaze, the porousness of the chalk paint isn't gonna soak it up right away and make it more difficult to move. So for ease of use, I recommend putting a clear coat of satin, flat, or whatever your top coat of choice is, um, one of the clear coats on first before you put on the glaze. Now, you can do it without the clear coat. Just know that you're gonna have a much more dramatic look and it's not gonna move as easily because your paint is gonna absorb those colors right away, so you'd have to move quickly. But I like to use a clear coat and satin before I do my glazing. Now, I've got this separated into several different quadrants and that's because I'm gonna show you something different in each one. Okay, so up here, right here, I'm gonna show you how to bring out the details. And I'm gonna use the Dixie Belle Black Glaze. Now, it looks blue, but it's black. So let's go ahead and use that. I'm gonna be using chip brushes today. I'll be wiping back. You can wipe back with baby wipes or lint-free shop towels. I'm gonna use lint-free shop towels. I'm gonna apply with a chip brush. You can use any brush you want. Okay, so I'm gonna use the glaze on this section just to bring out all these details. So if you're doing kitchen cabinets or if you have a piece that has a lot of moldings, you can bring out the details by applying the glaze in the details. So I'm going to apply the black glaze all over this area. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole top here just to give it an extra effect. Glazes are used primarily to richen your colors, add some depth and dimension, but it's also used to bring out details as well. So I'm putting a thin coat of the glaze on, and since I have that satin, I don't have to move that quickly. Now, I use the shop towel. So I applied it. I've applied it all over that section. And then I'm just gonna take my shop towel and wipe it back. Try not to remove it from the grooves. Because I want to be able to show the details. we go. So if all I did was deep, deepen up the grooves and you can tell from here to here it's just very subtle. That is the black. Okay the next one I want to do is I'm going to do the pearlescent. Now the pearlescent is your way of adding a little shimmer or hue or glow to your piece. If you don't want to use a metallic this will give a very subtle hue shimmer, pearlescent shimmer to your piece. This is great when you're doing whimsical. So I'm gonna put the pearlescent on here and you're gonna be able to see how it, pretty it is. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit on there for a minute. Look at, look at the hue difference. It gives it a nice pearlized look. You can even see the sheen while it's sitting there just like that. So if you want to add that little bit of that metallic look to a piece, but you don't want to use a metallic, this is very subtle. Okay, now I'm just gonna wipe it gently back. Okay, so I wiped it back and can you see that sheen? You can really see the difference between this and this. That pearlescent sheen really makes it um, look very soft and have a subtle, gorgeous finish to it. The next time we'll be talking about the whitewash glaze. It's a great way to get that soft whitewash look. And there's several ways you can do whitewash, but the glaze is just really easy. Okay, this is great to get that shiplap look, soften a piece, soften the color 
Um, also to get a beachy vibe, the whitewash glaze is very easy to get that look. Okay, so you can see how much pigmentation is in the whitewash. Okay, let's go ahead and wipe this one back. Just very gently. This is such a beautiful finish. The white, the white wash glaze. See how quick and easy this is? This is also gorgeous on kitchen cabinets. The last one, I'm gonna show you something fun. This is something with the Van Dyke Glaze and it's called the Frotage. This is when I primarily use glaze as doing this technique. Okay, and how I do this, I apply the Van Dyke Brown all over my surface. So I applied it liberally over the entire surface. Now I'm going to take just a plastic bag and I'm going to crinkle it up nice and tight. This is how you can get like a faux, let's see my spot. It's where you can get like a faux marble look. So you crinkle up your plastic. Don't unfold it completely. Let it be wrinkled. Lay it over your surface. Now take a chip brush. Brush over it, get those wrinkles to stick in your glaze. This is a fun process. So I'm gonna push the plastic down with the paintbrush, getting all those wrinkles down there. Okay. Once I brushed all over the entire surface, making sure I brushed over everything. I want the plastic to have hit every area. Okay, the minute you get it all done, you don't let it dry, you just pull it up immediately. Okay? This gives you a faux leather or faux marble look. See that? That is the Van Dyke Glaze, and it's called the Frotage Technique. Okay, well there's a quick tutorial on using the Dixie Bell Glazes, and this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.